Hi friends, welcome to this video on packet tracer activity uh, backing up configuration files. In this uh, packet tracer activity, we are going to establish connectivity to TFTP server, then transfer configuration from TFTP server, then backup configuration and iOS to TFTP server. We will come to uh, part 2 1 establish connectivity to the TFTP server. Uh, they given a note here because this is a new router initial configuration will be performed using a console connection to the router well uh, here they did not do any initial configuration uh, we will do that uh, before that click PCA and then desktop tab followed by terminal to access the RTA command line configure and activate the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface the IP address should match the default gateway for the TFTP server. Yes, here we can see uh, the RTA router and we are going to give IP address for the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. Right. And also test connectivity to TFTP server. Troubleshoot if necessary. Right. We will uh, do this now. We will come to PCA here. Then we will go to desktop tab. And we have a terminal here. Here we are going to press OK. Yes. Now we will set the IP address for the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Enable configure terminal. And we will go to the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And here we have to set the IP address. So here the IP address uh, we have to verify the TFTP server gateway. So that IP address we are going to uh, give to this interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Right. We will verify that. We will get the uh, uh, IP address of TFTP server gateway. We'll come to TFTP server here. We'll come to command prompt. Here I am going to give IP config. Here we can see the default gateway. I'm going to copy this address. Okay. Now we will come to RTA, PCA and uh, terminal. Yes. Here we are going to set the IP address for this interface. Next is a subnet mask. So that also we will verify here. Yes, it is a slash 24. Here we can see that. Well, here we will give that 255.255.255.0. Yes, we will give no shot command. Yes. Now we will uh, test the connectivity from this uh, router to TFTP server. I'm going to ping to TFTP server. We have 172.16.1.2. Okay, success rate is 80%, right, so it is successful, yes, 100%. Yes, and now we will come to uh, part 2, transfer configuration from the TFTP server. Uh, from privileged exit mode, issue the following command, copy TFTP to running config. Well, so address or name of remote host, we have to specify that, this is the IP address of TFTP server. Then source file name we have to give rta-confg. Destination file name we are going to give the default file name and we are going to press enter. So the router should return the following. We can see uh, these informations and uh, here we can see we are going to get to the router name as rta hash. Well, so we will uh, check this now. Now we will access RTA through PCA terminal, right. So we enable, here we are going to copy from TFTP uh, to the uh, running config. Yes, so here address or name of a remote host. So we have seen the address 172.16.1.2. Yes, and the source file name, so a specified RTA-CONFG, 
and uh, destination file name we are going to uh, keep the uh, default uh, file name i'm going to press enter again yes here we can see the details as uh, specified in the activity and here we can see the uh, router name now it's rta now we will come to a couple of questions here issue the command to display the current configuration what changes were made well uh, we will see that here okay so we'll give a show running config and here we can see the some ch uh, changes uh, we can see the host name and uh, here is some enable secret well yes here we can see yes right yes so what happened here uh, the configuration stored uh, which is on the tftp server uh, that was loaded into the router next question is uh, issue the appropriate show command to display the interface status are all interfaces active we will verify that we'll give a show ip interface brief and here we can see gigabit ethernet zero slash zero yes that we have done so it is up and uh, we can see gigabit ethernet zero slash one so this interface is uh, down yes yes so here are correct any issues related to interface problems and test connectivity uh, well uh, that interface that is gigabit ethernet zero slash one is uh, down so we are going to make it up we will go to that interface uh, configure terminal uh, interface gigabit oops we will go to gigabit ethernet zero slash one and we will give no shut command yes now we can see this interface is up now we will come to part three backup configuration and ios to tftp server uh, change the host name of uh, rta to rta hyphen one okay then save the configuration to nvram well we will do these two things now we will come to pca here we are going to change the host name so we will change we'll go to configure terminal here we are going to give a host name as rta hyphen one we'll verify that yes now we are going to save the configuration to nvram so copy running to startup yes next is the copy the configuration to the tftp server using the copy command uh, we are going to give copy running config to tftp then we have to specify the ip address of the tftp server then we have to give the file name right so we will do this now right so here we are going to give copy running config to tftp then we will specify the ip address of this tftp server 172.16.1.2 and here we can see the destination file name by default we will give we are going to press enter here yes next we can see issue the command to display the files in the flash okay well uh, copy the ios in flash to the tftp server using the following command okay we are going to copy the ios now from flash to tftp server so we have to use this command to copy flash tftp then they will ask the source file name so this is a source file name uh, that which is going to uh, be stored in tftp server then we have to specify the address of uh, tftp server then the destination file name well uh, we will do this now first of all we will check the uh, flash here we are going to give a show flash command and to here we can see the ios uh, file yes i am going to copy this file name yes so now uh, we will uh, copy this ios file into tftp yes we will issue that command here we have a copy uh, from 
flash to tftp now we have to specify the source file name we already copied that i am going to paste it here now we have to specify the ip address of the tftp server 172.16.1.2 and uh, here uh, they are uh, asking for the file name we will give the default name yes it is copying yes that's all in this packet tracer activity so here we have seen uh, how to transfer configuration file from tftp server to a router also we have seen uh, uh, backup configuration and ios to tftp server friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and now don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest video uploading info into your gmail thank you